Hi, my friend. It's Tim Schur, and today I want to share with you a couple of tips that are going to help you to be relentless when it comes to achieving your goals. I haven't made a video for a while, so I thought I would do one here for you. As I'm working with my trainers, they're coming up to me saying, hey, I've, I've been helping uh, clients lose weight, and one of the things that I'm hearing a lot is, uh, you know, I've done all this exercise, and I haven't lost a pound and they start to get frustrated and upset. And here's a great reframe. Here's a great way to change that around because that is very limited thinking. What you want to do is realize that it takes time to be able to achieve your goals. It might take years for you to achieve the really important big goals. And one of the reasons it takes so long is because it takes time for you to become the person you need to be to actually have those kinds of results. If you want to lose 100 pounds, it might take you a couple of years to become the kind of person who's able to drop that weight and keep it off. If you're trying to make a million dollars, it's going to take a while for you to develop the mindset to be able to not only make that kind of money, but keep it. Those are two different issues that people discover. So we want to make sure that we are building our emotional mastery. It's all about learning how to become the best that you can possibly be. And in the meantime, you'll be creating all kinds of successes and breakthroughs. The goal is not to get attached to the highs or the lows because you're going to have the best of times and the worst of times sometimes on the same day. So the goal is to just keep your eyes on the prize no matter what is happening, no matter what you're going through. But I want you to use this metaphor. Think of a piece of coal and think of a diamond. Now what's the difference between the two? The coal is something that 10 years from now is still going to be a piece of coal if it doesn't go through any kind of pressure if it doesn't have any kind of experience that squeezes it. The diamond is something that goes through tremendous pressure and yet it comes out sparkly and more valuable as a result. Now sometimes people will say, well, you know, I might be this piece of coal, but I want to be comfortable and or I want results really quick, so I want to just squeeze the coal really hard and then all of a sudden it become a diamond. No, all that happens is you have a piece of coal that is all crumbled now and it really doesn't amount to anything. You want to have consistent, steady pressure that is put on you over a long period of time because that causes you to become the person you are meant to be. Through time, through experiencing that pressure and being able to stay focused on your goals in spite of the pressure, you develop a level of maturity, a level of mastery that will allow you to experience those bigger goals and keep the results you get. So 10 years from now, or two years from now, or six months from now, that time is going to go by. Do you want to be a piece of coal, or do you want to be something that's more valuable, that's more sparkly? So even though you might have a situation where you're trying really hard, and you're doing a lot of energy, and it doesn't seem like anything's happening in the beginning, you must be relentless. You must stick with it and keep focusing on what you want anyway. There's a bamboo plant that you stick it in the ground in the first five years, it does nothing. And then all of a sudden, within six weeks, it can grow 90 feet. Within six feet, or within six weeks, it can grow 90 feet. So imagine, though, putting the seeds in the ground and then coming back, and the next day there's nothing there. Six months from now, there's nothing there. Two or three years down the road, there's nothing there. Most people would give up. But if you are relentless, if you realize that when you put those seeds in the ground, they were going to spend the first five years developing their root system, so that within six weeks they experience explosive growth, then you would hang in there and you would keep believing and you would keep focusing on what you want. And then when that explosive growth happens, you're prepared for it. You're ready for it. The most successful people in the world are always preparing. They're always preparing for that opportunity so that when the opportunity shows up, they're ready for it. The unprepared never even see the opportunities or when they do show up, they're not prepared. And then, of course, they miss out. So you got to ask yourself, where do you want to be? Do you want to be the person who's prepared and ready? Do you want to be the person who is comfortable with pressure so that when uh, it's time for you to be sparkly, you are ready? Or do you want to be the kind of person that is just complaining and whining? The biggest mantra of people that don't get what they want is, well, if I can't see results right away, then I'm going to lose my motivation and I'm not going to be able to follow through. Wah, wah. Everybody goes through that. The most successful people are able to keep seeing their results in their mind and that's what gets them to keep moving forward towards their ultimate goal. And you know what happens once you get the goal? I was so excited. I'm going to make all this money. I worked really hard in my business for many years. I'm going to make all this money. And then guess what? I made a bunch of money and then I'm sitting there going, all right, well, is that it? Is that all there is? That's exciting. It was fun for a couple of days, but now, now what? 
If you're not growing, you're dying. And so when you achieve a goal, what do you do? You set another goal. You know, I was talking to a marathon runner and he says, you know, when I cross the finish line and I've achieved this major goal, my thought is, you know, what am I going to run next? So you want to make sure that you realize that it really is the journey. It's the pursuing the goals. It's the chasing after dreams. That's the exciting fun part. Because once you get them, you're just going to want to chase something else. And it's exciting and it's fun. So make sure that you remind yourself to see whatever it is that you want in your mind constantly. Keep experiencing those feelings. And one day, I promise you, if you stick with it long enough, you will get what you want. You will end up very sparkly and very valuable and very glad that you had the guts and you had the maturity and you had the insight to be able to go out there and chase your dreams. So stay with it, be relentless, and make your life a sure success.